So I've given it a little thought, um, quite a lot of thought, to be honest. And I ask myself, what is the biggest regret I have? And I've made many, many, many mistakes in my life. I lost more money than I'd care to admit. Well, of course, unless you read my autobiography, which you can get in the description. I've lost so many people. I mean, lots more than regular people. And I don't regret any of it. I don't regret making bad financial decisions while investing in oil, which cost me upwards of forty thousand dollars. I don't. In, I don't regret expanding too quickly from having two, three employees and traveling to basically rent, renting a twelve thousand dollars a month office and increasing to twelve employees which ended up costing me over $50,000. I even don't regret losing so many friends when I was younger because, well, I've been a dick. No, I, I, don't, I don't regret for anything bad I did because whatever loss it may have brought I learned from that loss so I took my lessons made sure that it does not will not happen again and uh, and grew as a person so what do I actually regret there was a long period um, after probably my biggest loss to this date, which was um, around the middle of 2016, and which lasted a couple of months, where I didn't do anything with my time. I pretty much played video games from morning till night, and on the days that I wasn't playing video games, I was walking literally 12 15 hours a day this also happened again between the beginning of 2016 to would I said I'd say the middle of 2016 maybe even later I was broken I, w I just did not do anything with my time I felt like um, kind of like Logan in uh, in the Logan movie. Maybe that's why I watched it six times when it came out in theater. I also regret the times, maybe the, it's in the last couple of months between the end of May and now, the last four months. I was not active on social media. N you know, not necessarily social media, but I was not producing. I was not putting out content every day. I had my email thing set up, so that was making me money, but I was not actively creating new content. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I took time off to find myself, but I believe that I would have found myself a lot faster by continuing to do the thing that did not feel comfortable anymore. It did not feel like myself because you're more likely to change when you don't feel good, when you feel bad, when you do something. So when you're, when are you more likely to find a good job? When you sit at home and everything is cool or when you're at a shitty job that you can't wait to get out of? It's quite a simple answer. So 
I know it's a cliche, but I don't regret anything I did. I regret the things I didn't do. And nobody actually explains why that is. Like, okay, why would you regret the things that you failed to do? The non-actions, but don't regret the actions. I gave half the answer earlier. You regret the you don't regret the actions because you learn from the actions as long as you didn't kill yourself. But why don't why why would you regret the non-actions? Well, it's because of New, one of Newton's laws in physics that every action has a proportional reaction. So when you've done a really, really, really good action, you're going to get a really, really, really good reaction. When you've done a really bad action, though, you're going to get punished. And that teaches you not to do that anymore. That forces you to grow out of it and to become a better person, to embody better virtues. But what happens if you don't do anything? Well, nothing happens. Of course, your life generally turns to shit over time. But there's no clear action-reaction. So you've made a really stupid decision and you got punished really bad. You, say, you can always look back and say, okay, I did this really dumb thing. Here's what happened. Here's how I can avoid it in the future. So you're better off. The definition of being better off means that you can basically still do everything that you've done this far plus more. So you're basically the same person you were. You, you didn't lose anything inherently. But now you can do more. Now you, you've been a very wasting person. You lost a lot of money. Now you're basically the same person, but you can choose to not be a person who wastes money. You can choose to be smart about it. Before that, you did not have that choice because you did not have the necessary negative motivation that taught you this is what happens. This is how you get punished when you do that. So you did not have the disciplined option nailed into you yet. By taking no action, though, there's no lesson to be gained. Do you realize how hard it is to sit down and not do anything as your life goes to shit? And with that, look in the mirror and say, me not doing anything caused my life to go into shit. And by doing something, I could prevent it. That is not how human psychology works. What is more likely, and I would say overwhelmingly more likely, is that you'll sit and blame anything except yourself. When you look at people whose life is going to shit, their health is bad, their job is bad, their relationships are bad, what do they usually do? Do they usually say, yeah, I know my relationship is going to shit. It's because I'm not doing anything to actively make sure that it is working. And yeah, I know that my job is going to shit, but it, it's because of me. You know, it's because of having, I haven't read any uh, books about how to be a better worker. I have not specialized in any skill. I'm not getting enough sleep and good food to have energy. No, it's, it's, it's because of me. And my health, of course, nothing I can do, you know. It's, uh, it's the government and what they put in the food. Or, you know what, it's because I'm a shitty person and I eat a lot. But, well, that's who I am. There's nothing I can do about it. It's not an action I did, it's who I am. That's what you hear. That's almost all the time the reaction that you get. So not doing anything is the most dangerous thing you can do. This was true in caveman days where not doing anything meant dying of hunger 
and this is true today where you know it's pretty much impossible to starve to death if you're listening to this but it is possible to live a shitty life so an extra amount of action can always can never be bad because at best you're going to reach something amazing and at worst you're going to learn from your mistakes and that will allow you to reach something amazing so it's just like skating on a skateboard or learning bike how to ride a bike like the more times you fall the more pressure you have to learn how to do it properly so ideally you fall the most <laughs> you know it's like that Michael Jordan quote about him losing tens of thousands of shots and losing game winning shots and missing more shots than anybody in his in the NBA but that's why he was the best because the more bad decisions you make the more chances you have to learn and I'm not gonna lie especially if you're young because the younger you are the more you can afford to make mistakes because money and relationships these things compound so if you've lost a lot of money at 20 you can still make it back and then compound it compound it so that by the time you're 60 you're already at minimum like a multimillionaire but if you start making mistakes at 60 well i wouldn't give you a lot of credit for that i mean i would but i wouldn't give a lot of hope for that because you can't make the mistakes with your body you're going to break it you can't make mistakes with your finances you have too much responsibility at this point and too little time to accrue it and compound it so the solution is always more action if you're interested in dating it's making more mistakes in dating if you're interested in business it's making more mistakes in business of course it's good to know how to do it properly so I would add the habit of reading books for like four hours every day minimum as a fantastic way to save yourself from making mistakes but it's not about how to reach the fastest or what's the best way to do it it's about what's the worst thing you can do and the worst thing you can do is always to not do anything to not try at least even if it sucks so learn while trying so between trying and doing something really badly which you know you're going to do it badly in between that and not doing it at all the choice is always to try and I hope I made that case quite clear and with that I'll leave you till next time feel free to subscribe if you haven't and you can check the description for free shit plus products thank you see you soon